Good morning, Oklahoma. Welcome to Cow Calf Corner. A few weeks ago, we addressed breeding soundness exams and their importance on bulls prior to breeding season because of that brutal cold weather we had back in February. This morning, we're joined by Dr. Parker Henley, who's going to talk to us a little more about that. Parker, when we talk about BSEs, what exactly do we mean by that? Yeah. Well, a breeding soundness exam is commonly referred to as a BSE, and it's not just an evaluation of the bull's sperm or semen. It's more than that. Uh, we actually evaluate their structure, their reproductive organs, as well as their composition and a body condition score. And then also the, the common uh, thing of mortality, uh, morphology, and motility. Uh, of the sperm. And so it's a comprehensive review of the bull's breeding ability. So Parker, as we look at doing that, going into breeding season, why do we say it's important to do it in advance of breeding season? Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, a breeding soundness exam is only uh, a bull's ability to cover cows on that specific day. However, it's requested that you should uh, do that six to eight weeks prior to the breeding season. So that way you have enough time as a uh, cow-calf operator to replace that unfertile bull, uh, a bull that doesn't pass the breeding soundness exam, with a fertile bull. And uh, that sometimes requires some time to find a sale uh, that's still marketing bulls and then purchase that bull and get him home. And we like to do that in advance. What, what's the benefit if we've got to go purchase new bulls of getting them together sure. for the breeding season? If you're a large enough cow-calf operator where you have to run multiple sires in a pasture, uh, it's important that you co-mingle those bulls uh, prior to them turning out on cows because there'll be a substantial amount of time where they'll fight and they will uh, select a, a dominance order amongst those bulls. And so it's important to get them a, uh, accustomed to each other so that they're ready to go out on cows. And as we know, it's uh, the grass is greening up and uh, turnout is just around the corner. Uh, and so it's never too early to start planning for uh, turnout. Well, Parker, we appreciate you joining us this morning. We'll actually have Parker back with us again next week. We're going to be talking about replacement heifers and keeping them on target to be calving ahead of our cows. And we look forward to seeing you next week on Cow Calf Corner.